Hello again and welcome. I had made a series of videos where I was experimenting with waveguides and I was using the Light VNA 64. This VNA now supports using harmonics above 6 GHz. Unfortunately the performance wasn't good enough and I ended up making a frequency extender. A couple of things that I have changed is the directional coupler. The part that is in here now is actually rated for this frequency range and it also has a lot better directivity the new directional coupler uses an APC7, so I've got APC7 to a SMA adapter. For port 2, I just have an N bulkhead, and then I go from an N to an SMA. I've also added a coaxial switch. This allows me a change between S11 and S21. So while running these experiments with waveguides, I had received a new version of the Light VNA64. So this is the one that I've been using for all these experiments. I had mentioned in the last video that I should do a teardown video and compare these two, and I never did it. So this unit here, I don't think I've ever had this apart. This is my original Light VNA 64. And we can see this is 64-0.3 versus 64-0.31. The big difference between these two, this new one has about a 5 dB lower noise floor than what the original one does. So a new viewer that goes by the name of Laticus, I guess, is how it's pronounced. He's from Lithuania. He's asked that I go ahead and tear these two apart and compare the difference. You'll notice right here, I hadn't noticed this before, but it's got, it appears like a soft plug. So this would almost look like a tamper-proof seal of some sorts. Notice the Phillips screw on the others. This one is blocked off with some kind of a plug it looks like. So yeah, I don't think I've ever had this one apart. Right, we'll start by pulling the soft plug out of here. Yeah, you can see this is almost like a rubber. And to lift the cover on these, there's just four screws. I really like the Light VNA 64. It's performed very well for a low-cost VNA, and I've been able to do a lot of experiments with this. Let's go ahead and we'll pull the older rev apart. I'll just leave these two yellow caps on here. That way you can easily tell the difference between the two. I don't know if I've ever actually had this one apart either. We do have a third one of these that I had taken apart and tried to improve the noise performance on it but I was not able to achieve the same level of performance that we're seeing with this new light VNA. You can see both displays are marked H1043. The older one is a 7-4 where the new one is a 1-2. But they appear to be the same. Let's go ahead and lift the circuit board out of here. First thing we'll notice in the lower right corner, you can see a 64-0.3. On the new circuit board, we can see it's a 64-0.3.1. At a quick glance, there's a couple of changes. You'll notice that this inductor right here isn't present on the older circuit board. You can see this is marked L20, and that's not present on the old design. Also notice that the package size for U16 has been shrunk. Looking at the surrounding components around U16, I don't really see any difference between the two. There could be some value changes, but it doesn't appear like there's any package size differences. On the old design, there was a part D2, and notice that is not present on the new layout. We'll also notice on the original board, there's this diode D1. And again, that is not present on the new design. You can see there is a placeholder there for it. It's just not been populated. Also notice on the old board, this is C11. This is probably their bulk capacitor. This is a 220 mic 10 volt aluminum electrolytic. And we'll notice on the new board, C11 has now been replaced with a ceramic component. But it looks like the value of L1, for example, is the same. You'll also notice just below L1, see the addition of this C113. 
you'll notice that there's two capacitors on this board there's a C1 and then C108 I believe that that capacitor is still there you can see C1 they've just basically clocked at 90 degrees and then it looks like they've gone from an 0402 to an 0805 you'll also notice on the old circuit board there's R4 and R5 that are located beneath the two ceramic capacitors and you'll notice on the new circuit board it appears that those two resistors have been omitted looking at the other components surrounding U21 I'm not really seeing any differences between the two same with all the circuitry up in this area I'm not noticing a difference between the two other than those I don't really see any differences between the two I'm not going to lift these cans off. We'll assume that that input circuitry is still the same. Unfortunately, they don't provide a schematic for this, and I'm not going to take the time to trace out to see what these changes actually affect. But my guess is this inductor was added to smooth out maybe some power supply. That may be where their biggest gains came from. Again, what I had done with the third one of these that I modified, I had replaced some of the capacitors with a larger value to try to smooth out the power supply and I actually added a larger bulk capacitor onto it and again I did see some small improvement it just wasn't as significant as what I see with the new design well, I think that's going to be it for this video I think it's been close to a year since I received the new VNA so this video has been a long time coming so for Laticus and others that were interested in seeing the differences between these two hopefully this has answered your questions we'll see you in the next video later